everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, a look at news from the city of Kansas City, Missouri. A famous frog once said, it isn't easy being green, but the city of Kansas City continues its commitment to making Kansas City a greener place with its newest program to ensure electronic waste is recycled. The city has been recognized by the Basil Action Network as an e-steward enterprise. That means we help eliminate the export of hazardous electronic waste to developing countries, which is a pretty standard practice today. Instead, the city is partnering with a certified e-steward recycling company to manage our electronic waste with the hope that unwanted electronic waste can be put to use in areas of growing need, such as schools and community centers. City departments will highlight many green efforts at the biannual KC Green Fair on Thursday, September 17th. It's right across the street from City Hall in the Isla Davis Park from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Residents can learn how the city is changing the way it does business to include more sustainable practices. And you can also pick up some easy tips to do the same thing at home. You can also visit the KC Green Table and receive a free green bag and obtain a ticket to sustainability. Participants who collect 10 stamps on their ticket from exhibitors will be entered to win a variety of prizes such as a rain barrel, free passes to Science City, and a weather alert radio. Food from local food trucks will be available for purchase. The City of Kansas City, Missouri Environmental Management Commission presented its annual Environmental Achievement Awards to representatives of three city departments. Winners include Marlene Leonce in the Public Works Department for her work on recycling at the City Market. The General Services Department's Facility Services Division won for its sustainability projects. The Parks and Recreation Department won two awards. Its Urban Forestry Operations was recognized for the Emerald Ash Borer Tree Treatment Program. And the Conservation Corps won for its Rocky Point Glade Restoration Project. The Environmental Management Commission established these awards to promote innovative approaches to environmental challenges and to encourage a culture of environmental stewardship. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. Happy National Parks and Recreation Month! Today we are at our official National Parks and Recreation Month celebration, Kansas City's Big Picnic. Missouri Department of Conservation wants to help you discover nature and learn more about black walnut trees, easily Missouri's most valuable tree. Missouri has more black walnut trees than any other state, and the trees are valued for their economic and ecological benefits. Black walnut trees provide wood that is used for gun stocks, musical instruments, bowls, and furniture. In the fall, people harvest the nuts, selling them at hulling stations throughout the state. But these trees are being threatened by thousand cankers disease. 
There's a tiny walnut twig beetle that spreads a fungus that causes an infection under the bark of the walnut tree. And eventually that causes branches to die back and eventually the entire tree. While thousand cankers disease has not been detected in Missouri, foresters are concerned. Early detection is key. This summer, the Conservation Department hung traps in walnut trees throughout the state, searching for any sign of the beetle. You can help by not moving firewood and other untreated walnut wood products. Did you know there's a way to get answers from KCPD without calling 911? The number 234-5111 is available for non-emergency inquiries. Communications Supervisor Jeannie Rast explains. The number 234-5111 is answered or monitored on a 24-hour basis here in the communications unit. Whenever they call in, they could ask things um, about illegally parked cars, about a stealing that might have happened at their house. They don't know when it happened or who was the suspect. Um, a noise disturbance if there's not a fight involved, but it's a large crowd. Stolen autos, if they don't know who's taken the stolen auto. They do have a time span, let's say quite a while or overnight, and they don't know who the suspect is, also that kind of call. 311 takes care of calls for service that would pertain to animal health calls. Um, the illegally parked cars also, if they're a nuisance or abandoned, they take those. But with us, we're more of an informational, um, where you could call, a number where you can call and ask any type of question. We do get some calls where they are not police related, but we will make references or possibly answer the question if we know the answer. The 911 calls come in to the call center and they are the prior priority. So those calls are answered first. And then once all the 911 calls are answered, it would go to that informational line of 234 51111. And that way, um, it kind of gives a higher priority to the 911 callers. Some of the things that are asked to on the number that are non-emergency, if there's a race downtown or an event downtown or anywhere in the city, if any of the streets are going to be closed, they can call. Um, a lot of times, too, if there's storm-related questions, um, people are trying to see what areas might have problems um, to check on loved ones. That might be the number to call would be the 234-5111. The 234-5111 number is the non-emergency number for the police. The city also provides information from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Friday at their 311 number or 513-1313. I'm Officer Shelley Gaddis. Have a safe week. Holly Dodge, an associate in the city attorney's office, was recognized for her outstanding work for the city by winning the Rich Knoll Paysetter Award for August. Um, she, oh, where's that number? There it is. Um, before uh, coming here and working with our neighborhoods division, where I presently see her working on everything from receiverships to how are we going to get properties uh, under city control so we can get them out to, uh, to owners, uh, owner occupants. Uh, before that, she worked on, on 4,000 cases of domestic violence and child abuse also in our uh, domestic violence court as its prosecutor. Uh, I know her best. Uh, as do some of our staff uh, from her work with the Homesteading Authority and Land Bank where she does a fantastic job. Uh, many times, and again just for the edification of, ever, of everyone here, we sometimes focus on specific things. Um, but I think in this case we are looking at a body of work that really has been exceptional and continues to be so. Um, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you, Council, for giving me a job. I love working for the city. I love this city. I love that my son is growing up in this city. Um, and I love the opportunities that um, I get to do in working with the city. This is a great opportunity for um, a, a mom. And this is a fabulous opportunity for an attorney. And I appreciate having this um, chance. So thank you. Um, for your, all your support. I appreciate it. Thank you. The Paysetter program recognizes city employees who are skilled in communication, customer service, teamwork, and leadership. This award is named in honor of former assistant city manager Rich Knoll, who served the city for more than 26 years. Be sure to join us for the opening of the Art in the Square at Washington Square Park on September 10th from 530 to 7 p.m. 
This outdoor gallery show features public art while reinforcing the city's commitment to investing in local artists. Residents and art fans are invited to experience the art installations, meet the artists, and enjoy live music and selections from local food trucks. The show is free and open to the public through December 21st. For more information, visit kcmo.gov and search for Art in the Square. To view this program again or any other Channel 2 videos, please go to kcmo.gov and search Channel 2. That page has a link to our YouTube channel as well as a Channel 2 program guide. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.